Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is time for another viewing of another one of those amazing Warner Archive titles that I just picked up on their recent 4 for 49 sale. Man, I was so pumped to finally take advantage of that because it has been a long time coming. And number one was uh, Showdown in Little Tokyo, which I've already watched and reviewed. And this was my second most wanted uh, movie from that collection, and that is Action Jackson, starring Carl Weathers, Vanity, and Craig T. Nelson. So I got it on right now, so uh, let's hit it, let's get it, and we'll talk about it right after I'm done. Oh man, guys, I just finished watching Action Jackson. <laughs> wow, what a ride. Look, there were two movies that I was so excited to get from the uh, Warner Archive sale, and that was Showdown in Little Tokyo and Action Jackson. And look, I'm just going to say, I like this even more than uh, Showdown in Little Tokyo. This was so good. The difference between the two, like they, they're both action type films, but this one really feels high budget, right? Uh, it just, it's got, um, you know, Joel Silver behind this, the guy who brought us Die Hard, and it feels like the action sequences are beefier, the sound effects are, are way better than the ones in Showdown and Little Tokyo. Uh, look, let me just cut to the chase here. <laughs> Before I go on, look, if you're new to my channel, hit like, subscribe, smack that bell, look, I'm, I'm sidetracked, let's just keep going. I, 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 I gotta listen to this cast. Not only do you have Carl Mother Effin Weathers from Rocky. You got Craig T. Nelson, Vanity, Sharon Stone. You got his two buddies from Predator, Bill Duke and Sonny Landham. Robert Davi's in this thing. And you got these two great guys playing buddy cops, Roger Aaron Brown and freaking Thomas F. Wilson from Back to the Future. Not to mention, not one, but two henchmen from Die Hard. And Argyle McLean's limo driver. I mean, come on. So you just got all kinds of people making cameos in this thing, just filling it out. It's 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 way more star powered than Showdown in Little Tokyo, that's for sure. But uh, it is so good. This is that vehicle Carl, Carl Weathers wanted to, uh, you know, become a franchise. You know, sort of like his own James Bond. And look, I'm telling you, it was it was a great start. Um, there was a turnover in studios and they sold the property, you know, from one studio to the Warner Brothers and then they just sort of dropped the, the, the property altogether and then no, there was no interest anymore. And, uh, man, I just, I just felt like he missed out. So, uh, anyway, so, uh, again, the film is Action Jackson. It was released in 1998. It runs about an hour and 36 minutes. It's basically a story about vengeance. It drives this Detroit cop, that's Carl Weathers, to stay on the trail of a power-hungry automobile magnet, that's the Craig T. Nelson character, who is systematically eliminating all of his competition. And so, you know, Action Jackson, hes uh, he knows what's going on, and, and it is his job to take that dude down, but he's very rich and powerful, so of course those rich and powerful people are hard to take down. Uh, in this film also, when... Uh, when you hear these fight sequences, these fights also sound like diehard fights. I am sure because Joel Silver was involved with both films that he utilized that sound library of those real <laughs> nailed his punch sound effects, by the way, um, of those punches and, and just those impacts are in this film, just like in Die Hard. So you get sort of that real, you know, beefy action presence uh, that comes with those Joel Silver films. So the stunts in this film are top drawer. The act, okay, here's the, 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 here's the difference between this and Showdown Little Tokyo. They both strive to be a little bit of that sort of like cheesy action film from the 80s, but Showdown's a lot more cheesy. This one actually, I think, elevates itself almost to that, that diehard wannabe level, you know, sort of like the Under Siege, uh, Steven Seagal, get it in there, maybe Stallone's Cobra, um, you know, things like that where I think it's it's trying to get into that little niche. And I think it does it, you know, it does it really well, uh, giving its story and its acting. The actors 
Ah, oh my God, I'm telling you, the actors in this film, they deliver. So this also has hokey dialogue. It's sort of like how you get sort of a hokey dialogue in an Arnold movie or a James Bond movie, but they sell it. They sell that stupid line. You go, <laughs> I don't know if you do that or not, but you know what I mean? Like if it's sold well, you're in it. I mean, look, just, okay, I got a clip for you. Listen to this great line by Carl Weathers. Barbecue, huh? How do you like your wits? I mean, right? And not only does does the joke land, it transitions from the flaming body of the guy to the flaming ribs on the barbecue. So not only does it have like cheesy lines, but they even incorporate it into transitions. I mean, that's what this film is all about. Uh, and and you know the, the the villain and the hero meeting. It's it's really satisfying. Somehow Carl Weathers, Action Jackson gets a car to the second floor uh, of a house so he can drive through the door that you know he's got vanity trapped in. And I mean it's it's very over the top. But then again, Die Hard's a little over the top as well. So it's just got that Joel Silver stamp of approval. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the actual Warner Archive release here. Uh, nice case. You know it's not one of those eco-friendly one so it's solid all the way through nothing special on the disc just black with with print um you know there's the artwork on the front artwork on the back no, no reversible artwork on the inside uh and totally stripped at least uh showdown little tokyo had a trailer this has nothing it is 100 stripped of any thing whatsoever nothing no trailer no nothing so just the movie but you know what it's worth it the movie's really good so uh yeah if you are looking to pick up action jackson if you remember it being great look it is fantastic it i will put this film up there with things like like i said cobra under siege you know all those type of good action 80s films maybe even some of those you know i think it's, it's even better than some of those chuck norris movies like um a missing in action and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I love and Sharon Stone's in this. She is really good. I mean, the actors just really sell it. And Vanity, may I just say something about Vanity? Not only is she absolutely luminous in this film, and she sings a couple songs too, by the way. It's like, all right, you know, give her a couple songs to sing and add it to the soundtrack. Uh, she plays a junkie in this. And she plays it really well without being sort of that, hey, bud. You know, I'm sorry, I'm doing Spicoli, who is also an excellent druggie, by the way. So that was a horrible <laughs> analogy. You know what I'm trying to say. Hey, bud, what's your problem? Anyway, uh, Vanity plays the drugged out person really well, super realistic without feeling over the top. Uh, I think she just nails it. I think she's really, really good. So uh, I, what can I say about this film? I think I'm just going to wrap it up by saying I would give... Action Jackson, a good solid three and a half stars. The images looked really good. Nothing to write home about. I mean, you, know, you can see a lot of grain in this picture, uh, but the sound was good. The picture looks good, you know, as like a good Blu-ray should. It's nothing to write home about, like it's some sort of 4K scan that's just popping off the screen. But I mean, it looked good enough for me. It sounded good enough for me. And I thoroughly enjoyed this. So if you guys are thinking about Action Jackson, think no longer. It is excellent. Uh, I highly recommend it. So there you go, guys. That is my review uh, for Action Jackson starring Carl Weathers. Excellent movie. Uh, if you're new to my channel, one more time, please get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack that notification bell. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.